So there's this one story in Tacloban Leyte where we just, we were the first ones to go there. And there's one principal slash teacher who got injured, I think with a storm surge, he lost his sight, he got blind. And so we helped put up the schools, the classrooms, and we did an event there. And so when he spoke, he said, well, he was blind, ha? Hindi ko kayo nakikita, pero para kayong hangin na nafe-feel ko. And the many scholar stories also, really, really, really heartwarming. There was this one scholar who actually, when she graduated, she really hugged me and Melanie, the scholarship head. And then she was crying and said, I said, Nanak, why? You know, we consider them our kids. Anak, why? And then she said, Mom, thank you po for giving me the scholarship. Because at that time when the scholarship was granted to her, she was being offered to dance at the nightclub because the father was sick and then the mother died. And then she had to feed her three siblings. And so she said, had you not given us a scholarship, I would have been a you know, nightclub dancer. And her life would have been totally different. Yes. When you touch the life of a teacher, you not only touch her or his life, but their families and the children that they teach every day, year on year. Our teachers are our second parents, right? So the teachers have to be really empowered and they have to really, really love what they're doing because it's touching the lives of, of many. To me, Gabay Goro is actually an answered prayer when you make a difference in the life of someone. It's really nice. And I really hope that even without us, the core volunteers who started it, it'll still be there year on year to touch the lives of many and help um, push education in our country. Our hearts belong to our dear teachers.